I absolutely love macaroons. However, that one's not big enough. Yeah, I think maybe this one is big enough for me. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen, Entertainment Outside, always yours bakery here in Castro Valley, California. Um, kind of the San Jose Bay Area nonetheless. Here to do a giant macaroon challenge, yes. So this is the biggest, the biggest macaroon ever, ever, ever I've ever seen, guys. This is like a 10 inch macaroon. It weighs multiple pounds, just pounds. If you're not familiar, macaroons are usually this big. This one's like bigger than my head. Um, anyway, so for this challenge today, we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete it. The value of macaroon is 75 bucks, free if we do complete it. It is undefeated. Um, you do get to pick the flavors. I gotta tell them in advance, I went with creme brulee, because that sounds absolutely delectable, but they have a large variety of different uh, macaroons, flavors, they have character ones as well. Um, but anyway, I think this thing is better served as like a cake, uh, but we're gonna have to try to eat this by ourselves. So it's apparently the equivalent of like maybe 30-ish macaroons, something. So anyway, let's go as fun, let's eat food, and let's go eat. Hi everyone, so here we are with the macaroon guys. Look at the size of this. This is like insane. And here's a normal one, like, do you see this? Normal size, this size. Like this is insane, it doesn't even fit. Um, so if you're not familiar with the macaroon is, it is like a kind of almond flour based pastry. So it's really nice and crumbly. Here we have like a buttercream kind of filling, icing. Um, this is a creme brulee flavored. So we so see you guys, you got the burnt sugar on top. Again, the giant size and then the mini size. So I'm definitely excited. This thing is dense and heavy. Like, I don't know if you can see, but this is, this buttercream doesn't move. This is not some light fluffy filling. This is a like really nice set icing creaming filling. So I don't, they literally were like, I don't know how you're gonna eat that. I don't know either. Like I could take it like a sandwich, probably, but like, I don't know, this is so huge, so impressive. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm pumped. So let us give a uh, rock and roll as we eat the world's biggest macaroon. Like just, like that is just nuts. There's no Photoshop, no whatever. This is insane guys, so. We might as well just get started. It looks delicious. I am outside. Uh, it's, the place gets pretty busy, but I mean, I know why. Like I said, they got some awesome looking macaroons and uh, all the different teas. I got a couple here myself. This is uh, one of my favorites that they offer here. It's kind of a strawberry rose tea, really, really good. Uh, but yeah, so the macaroon here guys, um, I, like I said, I don't really know how to eat it. Natalie, the owner here, also said like, she's I don't know how people eat it, so we're gonna find out. Um, so anyway, let's get a rocking and a rolling. Wow, this is so big, this is crazy. You're right, it's like a burger. Wow, look at that, everybody. She put some cream on the bottom so it wouldn't slide around so much, but just that looks absolutely impressive. Woo! Oh, wow, yeah, how to navigate this, this is, uh, this is a big macaroon, everybody. So anyway, so uh, how about we get started? Five, four, three, two, one. The world's biggest macaroon starting right now. Wow, that is a big bite. Mm. Wow, oh, that is good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Whoa, guys, okay. And thought, yeah. yeah. It's amazingly chewy and rich. Mm. That icing is so good. Yeah. It's that cream you had earlier, but mixed with the butter. Mm. Mm. Guys. Wow. All so I can say, it is creamy. Vanilla. Mm. That is just amazing. This is huge though. Like, it's not like this is way bigger than I thought. Mmm. So delicious. That buttercream though, guys. Mm. 
and rich, but great light almond flavor. Mm. Got a little messy. Hey everyone, welcome to this Today we are here in Castro Valley, California, taking on the world's biggest macaron, macaroon, however you're going to pronounce it, macaron challenge. So these are super, super notable as kind of sophisticated desserts. And I will say I was so excited and blessed and just, oh my gosh, to have the opportunity to eat a giant one of these. So I love, love, love macarons. Like just the almond flour, the delicious cream on the inside, they're just Oh my gosh, they're so good. This could be like a, a birthday cake. Did you make a macaroon birthday cake? Yeah, I did. Mm. Yeah, normally that would serve like 10 to 12 people. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, mm. so normally probably cut it into slices. Delicious, but. Are you going to be able to finish it? I don't know, guys. Macaroons, if you're not familiar, they're yeah, they're this big for a reason. Yeah. Ooh, they are like so rich, so satiating. Mm. I'm impressed. <laughs> I can only eat one macaron at a time. <laughs> I'm impressed too. It tastes delicious. Now, admittingly, this thing was so much bigger than I anticipated. It was super heavy, super dense, and like this image on the video doesn't do it justice. This was massive, but at the same time, man, it carried the exact deliciousness as a little macaron, which is amazing, amazing. Delicious, but rich. Mm. That's why we make it that small. <laughs> I know, I agree. So, like I said, we had 30 minutes to try to complete the challenge in order to get the 80-ish dollar, 80, 90-ish dollar macaron for free. Um, and again, this was equivalent of about 30-ish, which is absolutely insane. So you actually get a real value buying the big one. What's your favorite flavor you guys make? Uh, that one's probably my favorite. Mm. Plus uh, the white rabbit candy, which is like a milk candy. Asian. Like the Asian candy, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man. I'm gonna have to go straight to bed. Sugar coma. I'm no expert when it comes to pastries, but this was actually my favorite macaron I've ever had. It wasn't very, like, it wasn't overly sweet, yet it had the perfect amount of sweetness. That creme brulee burnt sugar on it, that icing was just, oh, so perfect. Okay, guys, we're making our way. Slowly but surely. Woo. You're almost there. <laughs> That's like eating a whole birthday cake. Have you done that? Um, I ate a whole ice cream cake before. Oh. That was a lot. That was a bit intense. Ooh, a lot too. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Bite by bite, everybody. Mm. I do love that taste and texture of macaroon. Oh, but eat a little one. There's a lot of natural commentary in this video, so I'll let you get to that. Um, but yeah, like I said, super delicious dessert. Definitely one of the best dessert challenges I think I've ever tried. Um, definitely a difficult one. This was so much harder to eat than I anticipated. So we'll have to tune on in, see if we can complete this challenge. Now, if you've had a macaroon before, let me know your favorite kind of macaroon down below. Normally, prior to this, I'd say something like Oreo or like, you know, cookie, vanilla, that kind of thing. But 
but after this one i think i'm going to go with the creme brulee so if you're ever in the area like i said i definitely recommend stopping on by um, this lady did actually start her business off of instagram which is cool because now she is a brick and mortar so follow your dreams kids follow your dreams and with that let's get to the rest of the video what can i say very good oh wow just filling everybody these are very filling Whew. Oh man. Mm. Uh, slowly but surely. Thank you. Whew. Yeah, I think this would feed an army. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It's a very big one. That's the biggest one I ever made. Whew. I wonder if I can make anything. Well, there you go, guys. You want a big macaroon, you know where to come by. Oh, boy. Whew. Whew. A few bites left. My employees are all very impressed. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, it's uh, this is big. Yeah. It's deceivingly big. Yeah. Bigger than my head. <laughs> Alright everybody. Ooh. And we're done with the finished. Oh my gosh. All right, everybody. Oh, that was a heck of a macaroon, guys. I think just like, uh, I don't know, nine-ish minutes maybe. Wow. Just wow is all I can say. So I'm going to say, first off, the flavor was exceptional. Probably the best tasting macaroon I've ever had. That kind of burnt sugar on there. That like delicious, 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 just like crispy wafer. That cream was so good, very rich, very filling, but so, so, so good. Yeah, that was, uh, that was excellent, guys. I mean, you want some good macaroons, you definitely got to stop on by. I mean, just, but you can you can buy them this big. Unless you have, like, a party. If you have a party, get one like this. This would be a great literal birthday cake. I swear you could feed a lot of people with that. Like you said, probably, like, I don't know, 10 people? Yeah, 10, 12. 10, 12 people, like... Yeah, because, I mean, at least one of, like, every slice of that, say you did it in 12, would be at least two, if not three of those. Probably three or four. Yeah, so that's nuts. So in that case, I mean, and what'd you figure, that was like 30-ish? 24 30, to 30? 30, 36 macaroons. Really, even 36, yeah. So that's a, that's a lot of macaroons, everybody. But that was absolutely delicious. So, like I said, huge thanks to the staff here. They've been absolutely awesome. Um, really cool, gra uh, you know, startup, like we mentioned. You know, coming from making uh, macaroons on Instagram to having their own bakery, the Bone Bake Shop. Known for the macaroons. They got the character ones, all the different flavors. Very good. I'll have to come on back and try all the other macaroon flavors. Whew. But in the meantime, guys, I thought we do get the uh, big macaroon for free. But that was very, very delicious. Um, just a lot. But it was very delicious. I did like that. So, and like the perfect level of sweetness. I think that's the, the key thing that I'm finding here is that it is just like, it's sweet, it's delicious, it's satiating, it hits that sweet spot, but it's not like, you know, overly, overly sweet. Um, and that's saying a lot 
seeing I just ate a big macaroon like this. But I thought everyone definitely stop by if you're ever in the Castro Valley area. This is like pretty much right downtown. And uh, that's about that, guys. I'm all creamy, but I'll go clean it up. And until uh, next time, I hope you have a lovely day. So stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, that's about that. That's about that. Don't eat one this big by yourself. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. But as a party, I definitely recommend it. So that's it, everybody. Appreciate you. Let me know what you think of this video. And I'm rambling. So have a lovely day. Right, everyone, we're down here by Pier 39. That's like one of the most famous touristy piers. Lots of restaurants and stuff. Again, San Francisco. They have the Ben and Jerry's and more piers and stuff. There's like seals over here. People always kind of go over. So we're gonna go check out some of that. But then we'll show you Pier 39, which is supposed to be real, real cool. So there's also Alcatraz. This is Alcatraz, the famous prison there, which is pretty cool. I forgot it was right off the coast. And then there's a whole bunch of sea lions. You can hear them and see them freaking out, which uh, maybe we'll get a little closer, but yeah, just absolutely stunning water view. It's cool to see the buildings and kind of the way the city looks. So really nice down here in San Fran. All right, and we are in the famous Pier 39. There's Houdin, which is a famous uh, kind of bread dough thingy thing. Um, yeah, all kinds of restaurants, real cool. Very touristy as you can tell, but uh, we're heading a little closer towards the sea lions. And yeah, I mean, you want hot dogs or anything you want, they got it all. And here we have the big stinky sea lions. They, they do, they smell, don't they? Do they stink? A little bit. No word. I think they stink. Babies and all the I can above. barely smell them because I, you I, can't I, smell I don't that. know. Everyone, we're heading out of the beautiful, beautiful little uh, Pier 39 area, San Francisco. I will say uh, we just went eight, but my phone's basically dead, so I haven't been uh, taking much clip, you know, many clips. But really cool spot, definitely a must check out. Yeah, until next time. And here we have the old-fashioned trolley, guys. Famous old-fashioned trolleys, San Francisco Railway and Chinatown, because why not? It's actually a very, very large Chinatown, but I love the little lanterns. And it's cool.